Yo, what's up, people? This is your man, AG. I'm coming to you with another quick tutorial for MachineMasters.com. In this tutorial right here, I want to go ahead and show y'all how to get your MP3 formatted files inside a machine. I use this program called Snapper. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And go down here. I'm going to go to my Finder. I got an MP3 on my desktop. Let me go ahead and slide this up a little bit for y'all. So when I click it, Snapper is going to automatically start playing. Say this is the file that I want to import into machine. I just double click. And drop it in. Now it's in machine. That's pretty much it. It's just that simple. So now if I come to sampling, click that, you can see the whole file is in there. Let's say I wanted to chop a four bar loop out of that. Go ahead and go to edit. Zoom in a little bit. And go ahead and truncate that. Alright, so I got the beginning. Okay, so about right here, somewhere in there. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Play it back again one more time. All right, so let's move that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and truncate that. All right, so now I got a four bar loop. It's not perfect, but just for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and roll with that. All right, so the next thing you want to do is say we want to slice it. I'm just going to let machine slice it to four pieces. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click apply. All right, so you notice it created another group. And everything is still overlapping, but the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and clear out the pattern that machine automatically makes once you um, apply it. Alright, so the pattern's gone. Now the next thing we want to do is have the samples cut each other off. Alright, so how you do that? Easy way to do it. Hit select. Make sure multi is on and you can select any pad that you want um, to affect. So I'm going to go ahead and affect all four of them. So come out of there. Go to pad. Turn choke group one on. Now all the pads are going to cut each other off. All right, that's pretty much that. Now the next thing you want to do that's very important is you want each individual pad to cut itself off. So, here how that's overlapping. We already got all of them selected that we want. The next thing you want to do is click on sound. Make sure sound is selected. Make sure you got sampler right here selected. After that, go ahead and turn everything down to one. Alright, that's pretty much it. From that point, you can go ahead and chop, flip the sample how you want to flip it. Hope this was beneficial to you guys. Make sure y'all check out MachineMasters.com for more free exclusive tutorials, beat battles, and sample packs. Until the next vid, I'll holla at y'all. Peace.